Now everybody, here's a little uh, fan motor that I built a few weeks ago. And as you can see, it now has two transistors on it. I'm using a TIP31 and a Darlington pair. And it seems to be charging all right. I've got it hooked up to my little worker battery as the run battery. It's at 1203. When I started charging the uh, cell phone batteries, they were at like 4.2 volts. And now it's over 6 volts, and that's only been a few seconds ago. So it's evidently charging pretty good. I hooked it up to the uh, uh, bigger battery, the 12 volt, to try to charge it. And it didn't move. I let it run several minutes and nothing happened. The run battery went down just a little bit. But the charge battery stayed about where it was. There's a uh, circle magnet I stuck on there. I saw a guy somewhere on YouTube that had a magnet stuck on his uh, fan motor. Said he was getting more out of it. I don't know that. That's helping a whole lot. I'm not sure that the second transistor is helping a whole lot, to tell you the truth. But there it is. And it'll go pretty fast if I turn it the right direction. Sounds like it's trying to self-oscillate. Now right there, the charging is going up to beat the band. It sounds like it went into self-oscillation. It slowed down a little bit, but still. Went into self-oscillation and charged to beat the band there for a few seconds. It sounds like it's out of self-oscillation now. But there it is, little fan motor, two transistors. And of course I've got two diodes on it, one pot, two diodes on each transistor that is. And I've got a neon bulb on uh, both of them. Looks like something from outer space now with all that crap hanging off of it. But there you go. SSG or MOTEP fan style motor and it works. Good experimenting.